Hi everyone, welcome to Megan Sullivan Art. I'm here today to do a video flip through of a custom order journal that I've completed for a little boy for his mum and dad to record the first year of his life. Um, here are my links to my website, my Etsy shop, Facebook, my email address and I'm also on Instagram too. So that's how you can find me. Alrighty, so this was a custom order journal. Um, so the basic theme for this one was he loves a little boy, loves all things cars, racing cars, you know, bulldozers, track, anything to do with vehicles, basically, this little boy loves. So that was what I rolled with. Um, and what I actually happened to come across was two little golden books. Um, so they are what has formed the two signatures. So the little golden books are in here in their entirety and in order. Um, I've also used other another little golden book which was a 2006 one called I'm a Truck and that's formed some of the um, journal cards and tuck spots and um, ephemera and there's been a couple of other vintage books as well from say the 1980s that I have used for um, all the uh, ephemera so there's no digital kit that's been used in this one. Um, it has a soft cover, um, fabric covered soft cover which has some craft foam um, as the in-between. So it gives it a bit of a quilted look with the sewing. Um, we've got two signatures in total with 196 pages front and back. And it measures 24 centimetres tall and by 50 centimetres all the way around. So that's the back of the journal and the front. So we have this ribbon um, tie closure with two buttons sewn on there. So in between the pages of the little golden books, um, we've got dyed paper, gift wrap, ledger paper, and some children's music paper, and also some children's encyclopedia pages, which are the centre of each of the two signatures. Um, so let's just get in, basically. So all the tags that I've made in here that are tag shapes, I've made specifically to either fit a 4x6 photo, oh, um, or a two by three. So um, I actually made those from scratch. So this is the uh, inside of the journal here. So we'll just clip that flap up. So this library card is usable and this due date card were both from one of the books called Cars, Trucks and Trains, which I used to form some of the ephemera for the book. And so that's on the back of one of the four by six tags. Um, this is the inside. I managed to peel the inside off of the 2006 Little Golden Book I'm a Truck and that will fit a 4x6 photo on the back or plenty of journaling space. So this first one, Cars and Trucks, is um, it's a 1981 reprint of a 1951 um, Little Golden Book. So you can actually see the, the, the you know, the uh, era of the of the um, illustrations. It's been reinforced with thick card and stitching to keep it all together. Um, so let's have a flip through. So the original book pages, this is a, um, I found a kid's storybook about bulldozers. So there's lots of bulldozer images. This is from the actual cover, sewn onto a manila folder. This is one of the other tags. So this has come from the Cars, Trucks and Trains book. And on the back is a little tuck spot and this will fit a two by three photo. So that's come from the Bulldozers book. Sucks in there. So we've got some ledger. These are words that are through the book have come from the Cars, Trucks and Trains book as well. Um, they were some of the headings for each of the pages. This is from the I'm a Truck 2006 Little Golden Book, Cars, Trucks and Trains. So each of these pictures had the wording at the bottom, which I've then cut up and arranged over the photo or over the image and mounted some really rough stitching in this book but I kind of like it. Gift wrap, another word. In front of the gift wrap with the monster trucks. So we've got some ledger and we've got lots of flips. So this actually came from the cars, trucks and trains. So you had this image, then you had this one next to it. So the pages looked like this and then you had the wording at the bottom. So that's what made up the pages of that particular book. So this one is a flip out, so more journaling space. Book page. Um, that's from the armor truck onto Manila. And it's got a little brad with the gold ribbon. 
bulldozers, another tag, and which has two tucks. So this is from the cars, trucks and trains. That's from the um, I'm a truck, little golden book. So that fits in there. Um, old Atlas Index, which I had died previously. Old cars. This is from the cover of the Digger Book. That's from the Cars, Trucks and Trains for the 2 by 3 More wrapping paper with motocross bikes this time. This is a large um, page tip-in. Plenty of extra space for photos. Um, and the mum of this little boy is very um, arty anyway, so I've left lots of space for her to, um, you know, add to the book as she wants to. So this is some unique kids' music paper or music book that I found um, interstate. And I just love it because I've never seen anything like it before. Um, this is another one of the tags from the Armour Truck. Some Ledger Two Tucks Bulldozers. So I just love how it's all come together and all the ephemera and journal cards and tuck spots have been sewn. This one is another flip out. This one is a one that goes over the page. So this is the children's dictionary book page. That's different makes of cars. And on the inside, she could totally collage over that or stick photos or journal in those little spots there. And I've just coordinated the ribbons to um, go with each thing. Makes of cars. Over here is just a journaling card with different semi-trailers and trucks and things. This was going to be a pocket, but it was actually too wide for the book, so then I've actually tipped it in as an extra journaling spot. Um, this is another tip-in, which opens out. Another image from that bulldozer's book. So it creates a lot of extra space. Another one of the music pages. This is a journaling card with two tags. Uh, motorbikes. This is a big tip in this one. So this is from the I'm a Truck Little Golden Book. Creates so much extra space. Wrapping Atlas. This is from the Cars, Trucks and Trains book. This is another tip-in. And this is inside a car, listing all the different components of inside a vehicle. Just backed onto yellow manila folder. And I just got those manila folders from our local tip shop here in Alice Springs. A bulldozer tag with the word bulldozer. Again, fits a 4x6 gift wrap. Another tag on blue cardstock, that one. Another page tip-in. Was, as you can see by the shape, was going to be a pocket, but way too big. <laughs> um, another tag on yellow cardstock. And the back of that little golden book. Second signature has actually been sewn as well for reinforcing. So this one is called Wheels, and this one is a 1978 reprint of a 1973 original Little Golden Book. Just love the colour of the illustrations. I salvaged just about every possible picture that I could out of all of these books and, and used just about everything I could. So that makes a little unique little tuck spot in there. So there's still plenty of room with all these tuck spots to still write on that actual page as well. Another tuck spot here from I'm a Truck and the Bulldozer book. This is from the cover of that book. So as I said, salvaged as much as I could. Um, here is another tuck spot, another tag. This is a flip on that side and a journal card this side. Another one there. So that's 
So this was in Australia when you buy uh, little kids' clothing. They have these stickers on the shorts and pants, and um, I just happened to have some sitting on my dinner table, and I thought that looked great, so that's what that's come from. <laughs> Recycle, waste nothing. Um, a tuck spot here. Actually, that's where this is meant to be. Apologies. That's meant to be in there. So that was, again, from the digger book. This was also, these pages were still in this little golden book, so I kept those. Little tag for a 2 by 3 photo music page. And I put a tuck spot here. Glued it down on the wrong side, but it still works. <laughs> Silly me. This is the cover of the I'm a Truck 2006 book. So you waste nothing, and that's been backed onto yellow dyed paper. Added as a tip in. Another flip up this time. Bulldozer. Um, another page tip in. Another tag on yellow cardstock. This one says making cars. And we've got the um, monster truck paper. This is I'm a truck with the bulldozer tag. Unusual trains. Um, this is a tip down, this one. I'm a truck. Steam trains. Kids Encyclopedia. This is another flip out. This is about making cars. Um, this is another double um, ticket thing. So these are from the Cars, Trucks and Trains book. And then on the inside, we've got two journaling tags there. Still place to write and add photos and everything. Here is another tag. And this one has a little journal card there on a manila folder. Um, this is the back of the 2006 Little Golden Book. And I kept that and turned that into a tag. That's from the Little Golden Book as well. Some more of the gift wrap. Ledger. Another page tip in. Um, this is another journaling card with more of the music paper. In the street. Very delicate. I'll have to glue that back. My apologies. Or sticky tape that down. Another page tip in. And they've been encountered in the actual page um, count as well. A, another tag with a journaling, two journaling cards. So the 2 by 3 size and the 4 by 6 A, Another page tip in. This one is quite a big one. Folds all the way out. And that was from the Bulldozer book. Gives you lots and lots of extra space for photos and writing and gluing. And that is the end. So you can see the reinforcing there of that book. So that is the custom little golden book journal. Um, and I'd love to make more. I really like this style of cover. So um, watch out for more of those. So it's actually quite... Um, Looks really quite nice with all the ribbons at the top. And there's been no lace or any fancy kind of things put on this one. So that's it. Um, stay tuned for some more nature journals. I've got a bird journal as well that I'm starting to work on. I'm getting all the pages ready for that. So that might be up in about another week or so, just depending on how much time I get. But in the meantime, there we go. Have a check out of my Etsy shop. There are um, other journals already on there. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to get to send some journals to Lindsay Zanor from Nevermore Creations 17. Um, see if I can get a couple into her marketplace. So I'll let you know how that progress goes. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.